negative way, you want almost to call out the elephant in the room, okay? You popped out behind the girl the other day, and she was like, oh my God, you scared me. So what would you say? They started to scare you. I didn't mean to scare you. I didn't mean to scare you. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Smiley face, right? Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Take a step back. So if a girl takes a step back, what do you do? You take a step back. You take a step back. You don't double down. The girl takes a step back. She's like, oh, well, what do you do? You mimic. Okay? Does that understand? You understand? If a girl takes a step back, you take a step back. Do you understand? If a girl comes in close, you almost like let her come in, but you like come in a little bit closer, but like let her come in your frame. Does that make sense? So what are examples of statements of empathy? You could say, are you feeling comfortable? Are you feeling comfortable? Are you feeling, you wanna be very specific with your language, right? Words are only 7% of your communication. Your voice is 38% of your communication. Your body language is 55% of your communication. The words you actually say is 7%. That actually means what you say isn't that important, but the words you actually speak are extremely important. Do you understand that? Yeah. If it's such a small percentage, then the specific words you use are extremely important, okay? So are you can feel comfortable? So like, when you approach your girl, you can say, don't let me interrupt you. It's kind of a reverse, reverse psychology, right? Don't let me interrupt you. Uh, you could say, um, so like, or feel comfortable, don't interrupt you. What else? Stay with empathy. I don't mean to make you uncomfortable. Say it. I don't mean to make you uncomfortable. We don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Say it. We don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Say it again. We don't have to do anything you don't want to do. We don't have to do anything you're uncomfortable with. This is like superpowers, bro. I'm telling you right now. This makes girls so comfortable with you. We don't have to do anything you're uncomfortable with. Right? Does it make sense? Especially when you're getting sexual with a girl. So important. What are examples of statements of empty? If I'm too much, let me know. That's so good, dude. If I'm too much, let me know. What are examples of statement of empathy, guys? Sorry if I made you uncomfortable. What are, what are examples? Guys, I'm telling you right now. If you want to go from low-level game to high-level game very, 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 very quickly, you have to master comfort and empathy. There's a saying, first seek to understand and then to be understood. What does that mean? I think that you first understand the perception of the other person. You first understand her and where she's coming from and her reality that she lives in before you even care about her understanding you. What are other examples of statements of empathy, guys? How can you make a girl comfortable? If a girl is being resistive, you diffuse that tension by agreeing with her. Be like, oh, you're right. Just by being like, you're right. Right? Like, if a girl's like, oh, we're not hooking up tonight, I'm like, sweetheart, I'm a virgin. I'm saving myself for marriage. What the fuck? You wanna agree and amplify. Does that make sense? Essentially, that, that's what we're doing here. You wanna agree and amplify. Okay? If a girl's like, oh, we, we're not having sex tonight, be like, there's no way we're having sex tonight. I've got Bible study in the morning. Right? Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Like she rejects her kiss. I'm like sorry, I we're having a moment. <laughs> Does it make sense? Yeah. You understand? Like we meet girls and they like immediately fall in love. Like they're immediately thinking, oh my god, it's like my future husband. We have a relationship. Like, does that make sense, dude? The first time I met Natalie, the first time I met Natalie, I just love bombed the shit at her. I realized that I escalated too quickly. And she might have felt like a little bit uncomfortable, right? And so I backed off. I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like, I don't mean you're uncomfortable. We don't have to do anything you want to do. I really, really like you, right? Cause like, knock on wood, you don't get me too. But I mean, this girl's my girlfriend now. <laughs> I don't have to stress. But like, she like verbalized that she was like a little bit uncomfortable. Cause like, I was pushing you fast. Cause she wasn't against hooking up with me, but like, I was rushing it. You know what I mean? Cause I wasn't sure if she's gonna go home or if she could sleep over. And I just love bombed her the entire night. And we're at the club, and I looked at her. I'm like, I think I love you. And she's like, really? I'm like, yeah. I'm just like, I've never felt this way before. She's like, oh, she's like, I love you too. Right? And so I just kept saying, I love you, I love you all night, all night. I'm like, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Like, wow, I love you, I love you. I was like putting my hair ahead that I'm like, I'm in love with her. Right? A weird like small part of me actually felt it because I was like, this girl's a nice girl. Like she's a hot, high quality, nice, wholesome chick, right? At the end of the night, I fall asleep, right? She had to had to leave because she didn't live in Toronto. She's like taking a train back home or some shit. She like kissed my face and she's like, I love you. I love you. Like, it's like by the end of the night, I had made her fall in love with me the first day I met her. You guys understand? The first day I'd fucking ever met her, I fucking, this girl had told me she loved me. Is that a mind fuck? Is that insane? What are, one last statement of empathy. Give me an example of a statement of empathy. Give me, everyone give me an example of a statement of empathy. 
If a girl's feeling comfortable, what would you say? We don't have to continue if we don't want to. We don't have to continue if we don't want to. Give me an example. We don't have to continue if you are uncomfortable. Let's say that. Essentially, what you want to do is you want to figure out her emotional state, her negative emotional state, call out the elephant in the room to diffuse that energy. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It's like you transmute it through empathy to get rid of that feeling. Does that make sense? Yeah. Give me an example of statement empathy. If a girl's feeling anxious, what would you say to her? Don't let me make you feel anxious. Or you don't have to feel anxious, right? Just like lead her, right? Pace and lead. Don't feel blank. Uh, what, it, what is the example? Uh, Whatever. Give me an example of statement empathy. Uh, you already give me some. Give me one. Uh, we can stop whenever you want. Whenever you want. You know. We can stop. I think we have that. Whenever you want. Or maybe we don't. I don't know. Okay. So these are all statements of empathy. I'm going to figure out her emotional state. Diffuse the emotional state using empathy. Because when, when a girl feels like, wow, this guy understands how I'm feeling, there's nothing more attractive. Nothing more attractive. Like, that's like, Phew. do you understand, like, ultraviolet the other night, Tuesday night, like, all these girls are flocking around us? Do you just notice that? Do you notice how, like, I'll talk to random girls and it seems like I know them? Do you guys, like, know when, when I walk up to girls? It almost like, it's like, someone asked me yesterday, like, oh, do you know that girl? I'm like, no, I just met her. Do you understand? Just assume familiarity. Say it with me. Assume familiarity. Assume Treat the girls, like, literally talk to them like they're your childhood best friend. Say it with me. Treat them like they're, they're your childhood best friend that you've known forever. When I walk up to random girls, dude, I treat them as if, like, oh, you're my friend, I already know you, right? And then, like, they, people feel you feel, okay? Make sense? Gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. My name is Justin Mark, international dating coach, relationship expert, and VIP lifestyle development coach. I've been teaching dating, soul skills, and day game for 10 years in 50 plus countries, six continents, with thousands of guys in person just like you. And I love teaching guys this stuff. So if you like this video, please make sure to do me a favor and leave a thumbs up on this video. I really do appreciate that. Now, if you want to follow me more closely, you can go ahead and follow me on my new Instagram, DrunkJustin2, and watch my daily Instagram stories where I'm always partnering with hot girls, doing exclusive events, crazy, crazy shit on my daily Instagram stories. Make sure to follow me there. You can see me traveling around the world in real time, doing amazing things, and teaching guys like you in person every day on my Instagram. And you can message me on my Instagram as well. So go ahead and follow me on Instagram and message me there. And if you want to actually call me, you can call me at justinmark.com. We'll do free consultation calls. You can actually call me. And we'll do a free discovery call where we can get you on the right action plan to change your dating life and your social life at justinmark.com. And if you guys want to dig deeper and watch more of our more exclusive content, go to wingmanpodcast.com and watch our Wingman podcast on Spotify, Apple, and all platforms. And we'll see you guys very soon in a new video. My name is Justin Mark, and I'll talk to you very soon. Peace out.